Welcome, science enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into the world of RAD150, also known as TLB150, a selective androgen receptor modulator, a SARM, with promising potential in muscle growth and performance enhancement. We'll uncover its mechanism of action and share insights from in vitro and in vivo studies. Plus, we'll compare it to RAD140 to highlight their differences. Mechanism of action. RAD150 operates by selectively binding to androgen receptors in skeletal muscle cells. This binding sparks a series of cellular events. A. Androgen receptor activation. RAD150 targets muscle cells androgen receptors, amping up protein synthesis, muscle growth, and strength. B. Nitrogen retention. It enhances nitrogen retention in muscles, a crucial component of protein synthesis, supporting muscle tissue growth and repair. C. Muscle recovery. RAID 150 might aid muscle recovery by reducing damage and inflammation, potentially leading to quicker recovery times and improved training capacity. In vitro studies. Although RAD150 research is limited, in vitro studies have revealed some promising findings. A. Muscle protein synthesis. RAD150 stimulates muscle protein synthesis, fostering muscle growth and strength by activating androgen receptors. B. Cell signaling pathways. RAD150 has the potential to activate pathways like MTOR linked to protein synthesis and muscle hypertrophy. In vivo studies, Detailed in vivo studies on RAD150 are scarce. Most research focuses on other SARMs like RAD140, making it challenging to provide specific insights. RAD140 versus RAD150, a comparison. Now let's compare RAD140 and RAD150. A, chemical structure. RAD140, also known as testolone, and RAD150 have distinct chemical structures. RAD140 belongs to the class of aryl propionamide derivatives, while RAD150's chemical makeup is less known. B. Androgenic and anabolic activity. RAD140 exhibits high anabolic and low androgenic activity designed for muscle growth and performance enhancement while minimizing side effects. Due to limited RAD150 data, direct comparisons are challenging. See research and studies. RAD140 has been extensively studied both in vitro and in vivo, exploring muscle growth, strength enhancement, and therapeutic applications. RAD150, however, lacks comparable research, necessitating further study for a comprehensive understanding. D. Availability and legality. RAD140 is more readily available as a research chemical. RAD150 may be less known and less accessible due to limited research and potentially differing legal status in various regions. Always adhere to local laws and regulations concerning SARMs. New SARMs is proud to offer RAD150. As always, our products are for research purposes only and may not be used for human consumption.